and welcome. Welcome if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be doing a little quick little video for you to show you my Easter decorations. I almost didn't do this video to be honest because I don't really feel as though I have a ton of Easter decorations to share with you and I also kind of feel like my Easter style is, is really neutral. Probably not selling you much here, but maybe I am. I ultimately decided to share this video with you because I don't do a lot for that very reason. I don't go crazy. I have some accents here and there, but I don't completely change my color scheme. I'm not really a pastel girl, so little pops here and there. You could see I even tried to get myself into the mood by painting my nail a pastel color. Um, but overall, I tend to just sort of layer in some seasonal holiday things with the decor that I already have. You're gonna see today how I just took a few key accents, not spending a ton of money or anything like that, but how I just took a few key accents and how I layered them into the main areas of my home. I'll be showing you my mantle and my fireplace. I'll be showing you the coffee bar area, which I am really excited about because even though it's very simple, I feel that it's something that really anybody can do and I love the way that it turned out. I'm also gonna be showing you, we have a covered porch outside, so I'm gonna be showing you just a couple of little accents that I added into that area. And then I'm gonna need your help because I found a really cute item and I'm not quite sure where I like it best. So I'll show you a few different options and then I'll let you tell me in the comments where you think I should leave it. My main goal here is to show you that you don't need a whole lot of items and you don't need big changes to make your space feel festive. If you haven't seen my spring video, I suggest you go and take a look at that because I go into a little bit more detail. But again, big changes are not my goal in this video. It's just small little touches that are approachable that you can do easily, even if you're on a budget. If you like tips like this, definitely make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any updates. I love sharing these with you. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know which items were your favorite. So let's get into the video and I'll show you all my tips. All right, so you'll see here that I just have a couple of bins for Easter and it's actually only a bin and a half because half of that other bin is for Valentine's Day. But I have some items here. It's not much again, but they go a long way. A lot of these items as well, I actually give to my kids and I let them decorate their rooms with these items. And it's always fun to see how they do things in their rooms. Their rooms are their domain. So um, I just let them handle how they want to do that. And I'll show you a little bit later what they did. But I'm gonna show you what I have for the main areas of my home. So I have a lot of neutrals for spring. I mentioned it in my intro, but again, I don't really go crazy with pastels. Maybe like a little pop of pink, like it's there on that burlap. But as you can see, I really like to stick to more natural greeneries and just sort of neutral things that go along with the decor of my home already. So to get started, I'm gonna update the front door wreath of my home. So this is the wreath that we currently have, and it's just a nice spring wreath tied up with a burlap ribbon. And I'm just gonna take that off the wreath holder. And all I'm doing here is I'm undoing that burlap ribbon and I'm just looping this little cute little Easter bunny sign that I got on Amazon right in there and popping it right back up on the door. And I love it, it's festive, it's cute. It adds a nice little pop of orange and it freshens up the entryway and I linked this for you along with a couple more options that you might find on Amazon and depending when you watch this you can still get them on Prime so you'll have them in time for Easter. So I'm gonna get started with one of my favorite Easter decorations. I got this little set of these Easter letters that spell out Easter. They're on these eggs. The eggs are pastel, but they're a very light pastel. So I feel like they go really nicely with the neutral decor that I have throughout the house. And they have these really sweet little um, strings around them that are fastened with a button and they're on that spool. So I found them at a store that's no longer here in Charlotte, but I found them for you on Amazon and I linked them for you. So as you can see, one of my little birdies got damaged and his tail feather popped off. So I'm just gonna fix it with this ceramic glue. If you have never used this or don't have this, definitely get yourself a bottle because as you'll see, it just takes a little bit and you hold it onto the damaged part for just a couple seconds and it's pretty much an instant bond and it fixed it so beautifully, you wouldn't even know that it had an issue. So I'm gonna use that set of pastel Easter eggs to decorate this area of my coffee bar. You can see that we just have our espresso machine there and some things that we use for coffee. And I'm gonna start by adding these two large vases 
to the corner just to fill up that nice space in the corner. I found these at a store called At Home several years ago and I really like the texture on them. I think that they're really pretty. The smaller one you can see has a larger brown band around it and that red line shows you that I got it on sale. So I actually got both of these half off many years ago and I still love them. Again, they're neutral, they're nice and you just add a pop of green into them which helps to really cozy up that corner and just make it feel well decorated. So you wanna take your greenery, and again, I always say this, but you definitely wanna take a minute to just bend those stems back and forth, and that will make it feel fuller and make it look more natural. And in the smaller one, I'm just gonna pop in this large succulent. I got this one many years ago from World Market. I would now just grab one on Amazon, to be honest, or Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna add a little cutting board to this corner. I actually made this cutting board. There is a place here in Charlotte called Hawaii Fluid Art. And it's a really cool place to go if you have like a girl's night or something and you just wanna do something crafty and fun. And you just pour, you pick out different paint colors and you pour them all along the cutting board. And it just dries really beautifully. So I'm gonna tuck it into that corner and I'm gonna add something to lift up one of these candles. So it's just a clear pedestal. You can grab those anywhere. Just search up risers and I linked some for you. And into one of those glass candle holders, I'm just gonna pop one of those tea lights in to give it, again, just a nice coziness in that corner. And in the other one, instead of adding another candle, I'm gonna add a little more greenery using that succulent stem. And now I'm gonna add in this adorable wooden little bunny rabbit to just, again, bring in that Easter element to the corner. I'm gonna bring it there right on the right-hand side. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add that little set of Easter eggs to the corner just to cozy it up and make it feel nice and festive. And if you don't celebrate Easter or are looking for a different option, they also have ones that spell out spring and family, and I'll link those for you so that you can have something a little bit different. So I'm gonna slide my frother out of the way here to make room for one final touch I'm gonna to add to this corner. Now I found this stem of succulents, which I've actually had for a while, and sadly, many of the pieces broke off of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repurpose it a little bit in this corner. I'm gonna start by just tucking that stem. I'm gonna move my bunny out of the way and just tuck that stem, sort of hide it there behind the smaller vase. And then I'm gonna bring the bunny back and I'm just gonna sort of fluff those pieces around him, kind of like he's just sitting in a patch of greenery over there. And then I'm gonna take those little pieces that I showed you earlier that sort of fell off. And I'm just going in and I'm tucking them into that candle holder. And this makes sense because the other stem that I have in there is a succulent. So you can tell that it goes nicely and I wound up really loving the way that the colors have a little bit of contrast. So now it just looks like there's a succulent growing and then you have another one sort of cascading down the side of it. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I leave that outlet alone because we use that, we use this area a lot in the morning. My husband will make an espresso. I do not do espresso because I would be up for a week and a half, but I do use the frother. And if you're into warm drinks that don't have caffeine, I have another video here for you on my channel that has three healthy drinks for you that don't use caffeine. So you might wanna check that out. But overall, I'm just really in love with the way that this festive little corner turned out. And we have these three jars that I also really love. I use them to keep things like cinnamon sticks and we use them to keep things like dried orange slices. My husband and my brother-in-law make a lot of old fashions. So these just smell really nice. They look really pretty. And again, they just add to the sort of natural textural element of the home. And every time you come over here, you get like a nice little whiff of that aroma. So back here, I had these organic cocoa rolls. They are crispy coconut rolls. I got them at Costco and my dad's been over here making espresso and he definitely dips into that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replenish that. I'll link that set of jars for you. I got those on Amazon also. But again, I really like adding a natural element. I really like when you incorporate something into the design that is functional. And for us now, this little corner looks beautiful and is also very functional and we use it every day.
All right, so now we're moving on to the main area of my home. This is my fireplace, and as you can see, I just have some festive light touches, some neutral decor that I add to my already existing decor. So again, this makes cleanup much easier once the holiday passes. But down on the right of the fireplace, you'll see that I have these adorable wooden bunnies. My mom bought these bunnies for me last year. She found them at Home Goods, and you can see the detail on them. It's this etched wood. That detail is etched in there and it's painted white. So again, just more texture to the space. Just add something that's pleasing to the eye and festive without going all out with pastels. And as you can see, that was 1999. And this little guy who I love, he's adorable. He's got the butterfly on his nose. I think he's really cute. And I like that these are two different heights. So this guy was $16.99. And then I added this box of carrots behind them just to give it a pop of color. It's just these three craft sort of yarn carrots that are in a box. There's some moss there and the carrots are stuck into a block of floral foam. And I put them here because again, I felt like it just needed some color. If I just put the bunnies there, it would have gotten washed out and a little bit lost up against the fireplace. But those carrots behind them, that color helps them stand out. And then I love this wreath that I also got on Amazon with the little bunny tail out of the artificial hydrangea. You can put this on your front door, but I just thought it looked really pretty up there on the fireplace mantle along with the candles. And it went really nicely with that bunny banner. All right, so we're moving on now to the entryway console table. This is right as you come into our home. And if you missed this video, go back and watch my spring decor video where I'll go over all these elements with you. I'll show you how I did it and I'll have a ton of links there if you like anything that you see here. But I'm just gonna take this happy Easter sign. Again, this is something that my mom found at Home Goods last year. And I just thought that it was a nice little thing to add. I did not do a whole lot here. I know, big whoop, right? I just added a happy Easter sign, but I thought it looked really cute behind that white marble scallop tray and that beautiful little terracotta pot. It didn't really need much. It already felt very spring-like in there, so I thought that adding this sign would just be the perfect touch for the entryway. All right, so I have this gorgeous rustic bench, which was a newer find for me. I just found it recently. And when I was out at Michael's the other day, I saw this adorable little bunny guy. They were having 50% off of all their Easter decor. So I think he was $14.99 and I got him for around eight bucks. And I thought he would just add the perfect little festive touch to this vintage bench. This bench is one of my favorite places in the home right now. So I think I might like him here. We updated our gallery wall, as you can see, and that's where he is right now. But then I tried him in a few other places. I tried him in the center of our coffee table in our main living space. And I thought he looked really cute under here too, underneath that little pop of berry spray that we have there. I think he adds a nice little touch of bling to that area. Then I tried placing him in the center of this dining table centerpiece that I have. Again, I have another video on that if you wanna see how I pulled that centerpiece together, but he looks cute here too. He looks like he's just sort of hopping through a garden. And again, I like that he has that shimmer to him because it stands out against all the neutral items that I have in the home. And then I tried him in this last spot, which is outside our covered porch on our coffee table. And again, up against the backdrop of that terracotta pot, he adds a nice little pop of color. So let me know which spot you like him at best. Okay, so also while I was at Michael's where I found that bunny, I saw that again, they were having 50% off of all of their Easter decor and they had these buckets out just filled with different batches of all of these textured eggs in different varying tones. They had spots on them. Some of them were more blingy than other ones, but I felt like I couldn't leave there without picking up at least one batch of these. They were $4.99, again, marked half off. So I found this one batch that had like this gilded gold color, and I felt like they would be really good in these lanterns that I have in our covered porch. So as you can see, I have pine cones in there still from the holidays slash winter. It's one of the only places in the house that I really hadn't gotten rid of all the winter stuff. So I thought this would be a really good way to transition into spring. And I'm just adding these here. 
I already had some moss there. So as you can see, I'm just adding these little Easter eggs to the moss and it's very reminiscent of an Easter egg hunt. And then on the mantle, I have another one of these wooden Easter signs. Again, this was a score that my mom found last year at Home Goods. I linked some different options for you on Amazon because I also have a ton of them. And as you can see, Olive, our cat, very much approves of the covered porch fireplace. And here's a quick update that I did to our downstairs bathroom, our guest bath. This is just, again, something cute and quick. I found that little bunny candle holder at Home Goods myself a couple years ago, and I bring this guy out um, every season around Easter. And again, just adding a simple touch like this to your already existing decor is an easy way to upgrade your space. Another gift from my mom are these bunny placemats, which she also found at Home Goods. As you can tell, my mom really likes Home Goods. <laughs> and I found these little napkin holders, believe it or not, in the dollar section at Target a few years back. And I got both of them. We have big families, so whenever we host Easter, there's a lot of us. So I grabbed half of them as the carrots and half of them as the little bunny ears. And I'm just gonna show you a really quick way that you can do an Easter place setting. So you wanna just fold your napkin over in half. You're gonna fold it in half once and then fold it in half again. And then you're gonna take the top where the seam is not and you're gonna place that at the top and then just take your napkin holder and just loop it through and, and pull it. It's as simple as that. And then you can just fluff up your napkin and sort of tuck those seams down to make it look a little bit more polished and a little bit more clean. But I realized after I added the bunny that I wanted to actually try it with both the carrot and the bunny. I thought it would look really cute and I like how the bunny ears give it a little bit of height there. So I put two of them together and I really like how it came out. We're actually not hosting this year. If I were hosting this year, I would totally add this to the plates as the place settings for Easter. But again, just to show you an idea of little things that you can do to make a little festive touch in your home. So I brought that bin upstairs just to show you a little quick little thing what I did for my kids, actually how they did it. They put those signs on their door in their room. My son likes to use that blue tape to show me where he wants things and then I go back in later once he's placed them and I add a command strip to sort of hang it so that you don't have that blue tape. But I love that they do this. They have total free domain over their rooms and their bathroom. They added these little bunny signs to their bathroom. They love decorating as much as I do, and I really like to see them get involved as well. And I promised that I would add a few shots of what the candles look like at night in our house. So here it is for Easter. Looks so pretty, adds such a nice soft glow. I turn these candles on every night. I don't wait for a holiday or anything like that. I really just like to do this almost on a nightly basis. It makes me feel calm. It makes my space feel calm. Also, even when the kids go to bed and I'm sort of winding down from the day, having this soft glow with these battery operated remote candles always makes me feel better. So that is all I have for today. Did you like this? Was this helpful to you? What did you think about that little silver bunny? Where should I keep him? Should I keep him on the rustic bench, on the dining room centerpiece, in the middle of the dining table centerpiece? Should I keep it on the coffee table in the covered porch? Or should I keep it on the coffee table in the living room? Let me know what you think and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. YouTube loves that and it will help you to see more of my videos. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any that come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.